Welcome to The Room 2. This is a puzzle game made by Fireproof Studios. I played the first one years and years ago and I really enjoyed it. It was a pretty good puzzle game, but the most fun thing about it to me wasn't the puzzles but more of how you interacted with them. It's a very tactile, hands-on, grab things, examine small things really, really, really close up. Kind of like this watch here in the main menu. I mean, this is just a little watch. And it's right up at our faces and we can move it around and it's so good looking. So it's just about like opening up all sorts of knobs and switches and strange little contraptions up close and fiddling around with them. And it just feels really tactile and nice. Let's begin. Tutorial. Click and drag the mouse to look around. Gotcha. Double click on the note to focus. Yeah, it's got a really nice grab and, and move things kind of system. Feels very satisfying. If my calculations are correct, then this is where you will emerge. Welcome friend, we have much to share. Now you are blind, but I have left you provision to see that your passage might be shorter than mine. I am forced to conceal it somewhere in this room and trust in your wits to uncover it. I am not the only ghost in this place. Signed A.S. Yeah, there was a very light story in the first game. I don't really remember it. I just know we solved a bunch of gadgets and then... I feel like a portal opened or something and we got sucked into somewhere. And I think that is what happened, given this note. If my calculations are correct, this is where you will emerge. So we have been teleported somewhere. And it sounds like we are basically in an escape the room situation. So that our passage might be shorter than theirs. So they left us something. So I think that's our ultimate goal, is to find whatever AS left us. Check the eyepiece in the inventory. The lens is broken. Is that the thing we're going to find in the end? Zoom out further to view the rest of the room. Double click the other table to explore. Round box. Rotate the keyhole. Push the button. Heck yeah, that is so satisfying. A puzzle. Looks like some of the objects can be moved. Is this still part of the tutorial? Seems like it, because I can't back out. Let's do the puzzle. So I think these just, yeah, they only fit in in a certain order. There's different slots for all of them. So satisfying. Yes, and then little compartments always open. Like, how cool is that? Wiggle wiggle, am I right? Oh, for our eyepiece? Lens. This lens looks like it would fit the eyepiece. Sometimes the eyepiece can be used to see things that are otherwise hidden. piece of shaped metal. I should try to find where this piece can be used. So I can look around the whole room for stuff with the eyeglass if I want. Let's take it off for a second though. Let's look at this thing closer. Small piece of shaped metal. This game really is gorgeous. First one was too. So it's just, uh, I think that's a hexagon. I 
I don't think it goes here. But this is a whole puzzle on its own. Looks like a piece is missing. Doesn't go here, right? This hole is clearly intended to hold something, but what? Doesn't seem to fit here. The question mark button will glow when a new hint is available. Oh, hey! These! Yeah, another piece is still missing. I do wish there was an indication that clicking would take me to an area. Because as it is, if I can zoom in on a place, I can only know that if I just try to click everywhere. Anyway, uh, so it's not this puzzle that has the other piece, I don't think, because I can't actually solve it yet. Oh, another letter. 23rd of October, 1883. Mr. Rigby, suffice it to say that I do not share my colleague's faith in your character. Were it up to me, I should not engage a man of such low breeding and even lower station as yourself. The very thought of taking a grave robber into our service chills my stomach. But as Mr. de Montf I don't know how to pronounce that, is fond of saying, needs must as the devil drives. It falls to me, then, to brief you in your ungodly task. As you should be well aware, you shall only be paid upon your successful return with the artifact. Should you find yourself having any ideas otherwise, I must stress to you that, while the artifact is of enormous value, it is only of value within a certain small community of researchers. It is not for the eyes or hands of an uneducated man such as yourself. I unconditionally demand that you do not interact with the object in any way. It might prove incredibly dangerous for you to do so. It is an instrument of great power and should not be interfered with by inferior minds. What an asshole. So what is the artifact? I'm trying to remember if that came up in the first The Room game. That was so long ago though, I don't remember. Um... Yeah, that's done completely. Well, not necessarily this. I think that's done. So then maybe it's just this. Looks like something should fit here. Where is the next puzzle? Oh, hey, wait a second. Is it just there? Oh, it's just there. I think I need to align, yeah, the big holes so the ball can come out. Strange Brass Sphere. Perhaps here? <laughs> That's so cool. Looks like the eyepiece on it's broken. Shattered. Okay, that is so freaking cool. That is so cool! And creepy! Perhaps the code is hidden in the room somewhere. Sorry, I'm not even trying to solve it. I'm just looking at this thing go. I'm not sure whether I'm directly controlling the eye or the spinny thing. It kind of feels like both with the way the eye can move following my cursor. So, every time we hit one of the directions, it makes that the next letter. 
think that's the only way I can interact with it right now. So yeah, I just need to find some combination of north, south, east, west. Oh, hello. I just saw it. It's on the letter. Seswin. Sess win. I love all these little things that just open up. Medallion. Looks interesting. I should take a closer look. Yeah, and even inventory objects can be interacted with and are sometimes puzzles in and of themselves. It's so cool. if anything matches this shape. It's so pretty. Look at those reflections. Um, it wouldn't go back here, would it? Wait, it can't go back here, can it? No, that's a circle, that's a square. Nor there. Up here? Yes. different things, but I can't actually see anything back there. Can I examine this side? You only want to look at it from the back? Why only from the back? Ah, I see. Hey, what is this here? Is that a thing? It looks like a thing, but I can't interact with it. It's part of a lens. So cool. Hmm, the symbol down here on the lens is different now. Is that what it's... Whoa, Jesus. Is this a hint of what I'm supposed to be assembling? Or maybe it's just something to look cool and... Doesn't mean anything. Let's assume that is what I'm That is what I'm supposed to assemble. It keeps flipping me between different perspectives. Ugh. Oh, hey. This is probably it. See, now that doesn't look good. Actually moving to a different room? You've done well to emerge from the crypt, sound of both mind and spirit, though I fear this is only the beginning of your trials. I don't think moving between rooms was a thing in the original The Room. 
I mean, it is called The Room and not The Rooms. Ah, oh, we're on a ship. That's so cool. It's very dark. There is still no sign, and my patience wears thin. In my frustration, I even scaled the foremast myself. Foremast is very bold. Foremast, crow's nest, and cannons. A fool's errand. The fog is so dense, I can barely see my own deck from the crow's nest, let alone the... the Helena? Regardless, I've had the gun deck run out the cannons in readiness. It is good to keep the men sharp. This is probably an order in which I need to press things on the little scale ship. Foremast, crow's nest, cannons. Oh, look at that. That's so cool. Aft and four. Aft and four. I don't remember which one is which. Aft is the back. Four is the front. So, foremast would be this. <laughs> and the next thing on the letter is crow's nest, which is this. I think, isn't it? Isn't the crow's nest the highest point on the ship where you can look out? Well, this is the cannons. But, I mean, the cannons aren't out. I don't think I can interact with this yet. Oh, maybe these are the cannons. Maybe the letter doesn't describe an order to do things in. Maybe it's just things that you should look at on the ship. Do I need to make the cannons ready? You even get to turn the key. You even get to open the boat. You get to do every little thing. That's connected to this chest? Hold on, I want to go back here. <laughs> Is that really it? It looks like there's other things. Yeah. Thought there was more there. Strange key. I want to open that little treasure chest. What do you think's inside? Strange cylinder. Oh, I see you. That's what this key's for, isn't it? No? The shape? Uh, this is similar. Yeah, this... Uh, these triangles. It's a... Whoops. It's a similar thing on here.
Yeah, I don't think I can do anything with that yet. Wait, what is this? Hmm. I guess it's now also a key, sort of. Mm, need to find the right combination so that this fits, don't I? Yeah, the shape doesn't match. And this, I think, is unrelated. So what is the shape? I think it'll keep that angle when I go back to it. No, it doesn't. Oh, man. Okay. Oh, hey, wait a second. There's also triangles all over these. Different combinations of triangles. Yeah, maybe I just need to match that. So this has... It's got three triangles within a triangle. Uh. Hmm. I'm not quite sure. There's a lot of ways to interpret that. It shows one triangle is full and the others is empty? But uh, there's none of these have empty. And what's the orientation considered? Like from here, what's the top of the pyramid? Probably the one pointing towards the center of the disc? Let's assume it's the one pointing towards the center of the disc. This is the top one, top one, top one. The key has the top one being lit and the other's not. So that's the top one. That's the top one. And... That's the top one. I think that's actually right. Oops. Yeah. What is this? Is that a mirror? Ooh. So I think I need to do little mini puzzles to open it all the way. To open these four shutters. This panel looks like it can be moved. Is there a switch? That looks like a switch. Yes. Like, I just love the way all these, like, springs and doodads move together and make clicking noises and stuff. It's so satisfying. I think this is where this goes. Hmm. 